Uh, so Nick's only been here a little bit, but uh, early impressions of, of him and how he might fit with you guys? Yeah, he's a good kid. Uh, he uh, he fits right in with us. Mm -hmm. uh, I attribute Coach Walsh for bringing in like, a like-minded guy. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we like to say in the, the linebacker room, we're a bunch of mutts. Just under-recruited guys who work hard. I feel like Nick, he fits right in with us. You know, he's uh, low maintenance, cares deeply about football, mm -hmm. motivated. Uh, has everything off the field taken care of um, and just worried about making the defense better. And that's all we really can ask for is the guys who want to come in and help us out. How do you see, I mean, gosh, this is going to be such a storyline to replace Jack and Seth, but do you got, I mean, feel like you two can, can get there? Oh, definitely. Uh, just, I'll, just listen to Coach Parker and Coach Wallace, honestly. Uh, <laughs> I mean, me and Nick were pretty close friends. We got pretty close. Uh, yeah quickly um and really i just seen the friendship that campbell and benson had yeah, yeah. and i i just want to create that with nick mm -hmm. um they were best friends off the field so it only made sense how close they were mm -hmm. on the field with just communication like things that we didn't practice they uh were able to connect on that's really just what i want and I, I want that with all the guys in the linebacker room. I want that with Tyler Fisher, Jaden Harrell, Carson Shire, like anybody who's in the linebacker room, I want to be able to have heartfelt conversations with on and off the field. And if we can do that, we'll only bring the room up. Any favorite memories so far? Granted, only in two and a half weeks, but any favorite moments with Nick? Oh, um, I'd say Nick's got a pretty big squat. I didn't know he could do that in the weight room. Um, we went to Menards and he sat in a chair that was $600 and he said he wanted it, but I convinced him that financially that wasn't the plan to go. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, but we're, we're just a, we're a close linebacker core. Like I hang with Nick a lot, hang with Harold a lot. Um, we had a linebacker cookout, which is pretty fun. Uh, it starts off with like, all right guys, bring some meat over, we'll throw it on the grill. And then one person's on the grill and then two people go to the grill. Next thing you know, we have eight linebackers trying to cook on the grill because, you know, everybody wants to cook their own food. Uh, but I just feel like that was a big event for us, just like growing. Uh, we got Tanner in here. So just bringing some new faces in here, uh, just letting everybody connect to each other. And I feel like if you can just grow off the field, uh, it definitely pays off. You got eight linebackers on one grill? How did yeah. that work? Uh, we had some burgers, some brats, some steaks. <laughs> I mean, meats were clashing. It was probably wouldn't, probably not how you're supposed to cook on the grill, but <laughs> I bought $80 propane and we just had a good time. <laughs> is that the one, is that the thing that Seth always does? Is that, the, is that the, oh, no, that, one? this was, this was, was just our own. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. When, he, when he does it, he does it right. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, <laughs> he, he prepared like the it. foods a little bit better when yeah, he does it. Yeah. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so. What did you, I mean, you, you mentioned the camaraderie between Jack and Seth. I mean, how, like, give me a good example of, like, just kind of how they oh, it was uh, just, flourished on the field, I guess. Yeah, um, like, we would come in on a Sunday, and Coach Wallace would be like, well, how did you know Campbell was going to do that, Benson? Mm -hmm. Or how did you know Benson was going to do that? Mm -hmm. And just that communication on the field, mm -hmm. um, that the communication on the field that talking about the play before it happens is a linebacker's best dream. Mm -hmm. If somebody on my left can tell me what they see, the picture they see, the, the guard's eyes, mm -hmm. like something from the tight end, if you can communicate that to me and that only makes my job easier, like mm -hmm. that's, that's what I love. Um, like the reps I was in at Mike with Benson uh, playing Will, um, just like the amount of communication that he he gave me so I already I already only imagined what he was telling Campbell and then the same thing when I was at Will Backer and Campbell was at Mike the communication Campbell told me so that constant chatter before plays after plays I feel like that only happens with guys who are on the same page and when you're on the same page good things especially in the linebacker room good things can happen is Nick a chatty guy or is he more quiet? Oh, uh, he's a chatty football guy. Chatty football guy. Yeah, and that's that's all I care about. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I care about. How, so, how long do you? I'm sorry, John. Uh, how, like, how long do you feel like it's going to take to build that type of camaraderie? I mean, I know that's the goal. Yeah. With Nick, but I know. I feel like we're there. Like okay. we're pretty close. Um, we did seven on seven a day. Yeah. Um, we're both out there at the same time. It's like Nick, where do you want to play? 
Uh, he was like, I'll go Mike. And I was like, all right, I'll, I'll take Will, because I took Mike the first set. Okay. So I was like, let's, let's just try something new. Um, and it was almost like I was next to a freshman, just like letting them know the coverages, mm. but then realizing like, all right, this guy's played college football before, like he's got it. <laughs> um, but it was just fun to be out there. Like, it's just fun to play with your friends. Like, yeah. across, the, across the board, it's just fun to compete with your buddies. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, John. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm assuming that's a little different with that communication when you're on the field with them versus on the sidelines. Yeah. How helpful is it to have that time on the field with two veteran yeah. guys like that? Oh, it's definitely, yeah. definitely helpful. Um, really just trying to recognize a play before it happens. If, if I can get a, a advantage and I know where a receiver's going or I know where that running back's going, like that only helps us. Um, and just knowing, like, say I mess up, uh, when you play linebacker, like the way the mic and the wheel work, somebody can always cover up for your job if you mess up. And just having that ability to, like, hey, I got your back, you got mine is really what I'm looking for.